Uh, let's see, next question here. Uh, many of you have asked what I would do as governor to attract business to Wisconsin. Well, the first message we have to send, and the first message that I will send, is that the state of Wisconsin is open for business. And I'm going to be aggressive and proactive. And from day one as governor, I'm going to do everything I can to create, retain, and attract businesses to this state. And the reason I'm going to do that is I know that people in this state are hurting and that they're frustrated and that we need to bring down the unemployment rate. That's a huge concern for me as the mayor of the city. It's a huge concern of me, for me as the governor of this state. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do things like we've done here already. And that is look at, at the different state agencies and look at their specific mission and see if what they are doing is conducive to job creation. Let me give you a couple examples. I want to look at the Department of Commerce and I want to go through it but program by program and see if those programs are working and if they're helping us create and retain jobs in this state. If they are, then I want to put more meat on the bones. If they're not, then we're going to get rid of them. The same thing is true with WIDA, the Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority. I want to go through there. One of the biggest challenges that we have throughout the state right now is we've got a lot of people who do have some businesses that they currently have. They have some businesses idea, business ideas, but the, the credit is frozen and the financial institutions are not making loans. So we need to use WIDA as, as really a place for them to, to access at least some of the capital they need if it makes sense. Not just to give out money, but if it makes sense, then we have to have WIDA involved in that. I've been a big fan of tax credits that are tied to job creation. I've seen them in Beloit, I've seen them in Milwaukee, I've seen them in other parts of the state where the state has been very, very good in tying tax credits or tax cuts to job creation. We can't give these tax cuts to the speculators, but the people who are actually creating jobs, that's important. I think it's also important for us to foster the growth in our high tech and biotech industries. This is an industry where there are jobs for tomorrow and those jobs are being created right now. And so I'm very, very eager to work with that industry as well. But it means being proactive. It means being aggressive. I've done it through the Milwaukee 7. I've done it with numerous employers throughout southeastern Wisconsin. And again, I understand how important it is for us to create jobs in the state. And my, my guarantee is from day one as governor, I'm going to do everything I can to create those jobs and those businesses right here in the state of Wisconsin. Well, I think that's all the time we've got this afternoon, but I want to thank all of you who have joined us. Uh, this is a, a real learning experience for me, and I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to doing this again, and, and please stay with us. Uh, our campaign now is nearly four months old, and we are growing every single day. Visit us on the web, visit our Facebook. When I get a chance to visit your home communities, please look for the events where I'll be attending. Um, and we want to have this be a grassroots effort. We want people involved in this campaign. I have always believed, always believed very strongly in grassroots campaign because democracy is the ultimate participatory sport. It works as well as we, the people, make it work. So let's make it work. Let's move the state forward. Thank you very much. I have no idea. <laughs> we had over 377 people watching. Okay. So that's pretty good.